The F-59 cycle route has now been officially opened. The 21 km long distance from Den Bosch to Os is now an easy ride, for all kinds of people. There was a lot of fuss about finding the way, but that has been taken care of in the final days. There are signs everywhere, and at every junction there are markings on the road. So that must mean everybody is happy. Not at all, if you have to believe the local press. There are no complaints about long stretches of cycleway, which are after all pretty standard in the Netherlands. People do complain that there are not enough great separated crossings. Some were built, like this one, but you also have to cross roads at grade, sometimes even without priority. There are four such crossings in the 20 kilometers of finished route. So are these crossings particularly difficult or dangerous? Not really. Motor traffic is usually light, and there are great sight lines. Most crossings have a refuge island between the traffic lanes. Even when you don't have priority, drivers do let you go first sometimes. Simply because the design makes perfectly clear which way you are going. There are also quite a number of crossings where the cycle route does have priority. Here too, the design makes that perfectly clear. Good sight lines, speed humps, signs and road markings help all traffic users to understand who has priority. Not surprising, people generally follow the rules perfectly. What people really dislike are the new cycle streets where cars are guessed especially outside the built-up area where cars are allowed to drive up to 60 km per hour. This changed situation is hard for people to accept. They want separation everywhere. But is that really necessary? Cycle streets were only implemented where people cycling form the majority of all traffic, which is clearly visible, at least when I used the route again and again. Most people use the new cycle street as intended. Only very few stay on the former separated cycle tracks. When cars overtake, they do so in the other lane. And when there is traffic in the other lane, they wait patiently. Most negative is the village of Geffen, where the route runs through their village center. For about 900 meters, not on red asphalt, because fast cycling would not be appropriate here, according to the village residents. Especially not since the route passes a school where traffic is stopped for the children crossing the street four times a day. The villagers don't seem to grasp that a fast cycle route is not meant to be a cycle freeway. It's not about non-stop fast cycling. A fast cycle route is fast because it takes the most direct route with as little stops as possible. Some stops and level crossings are inevitable, and that is not a problem. At least the route is now well signed, also where it is interrupted. Rightful complaints have been remedied. At some point, the perforated concrete edge of the road was placed in the wrong direction. The grooves ran parallel to the road. If you would come off the road, your wheel could get caught and you would fall. Now the grooves are against the riding direction. That means you can safely leave the road and come back to it again. This is sometimes necessary to make room for a large tractor, for instance. All in all, the F-59 cycle route has become much better than some locals seem to think. I feel the F-59 will be used well and it will prove to be a very convenient and fast cycle route.